So we need to know where we started from to know where we're going. So the foundation is where everybody starts from. You can't build a house without having a strong foundation. The tallest skyscrapers in the world would not be as tall as they are without a foundation. So where did the foundation for operations and supply chain come from? Well, we have the systems design, the value creation, resource integration, and customer focus. So we've talked about these topics throughout our course. So design decision, decisions are control decisions for our system designs. Now value creation, we're managing the processes, managing projects, and we're doing things that are gonna add value for the customer. Because if it's not adding value for the customer, why are we doing it? Resource integration. We need to evaluate the com competencies and orchestrate the supply chain skills. Not everybody's going to be good at everything in supply chain. Some people are going to be really good at purchasing. Others are going to be really good at inventory management. Others are going to be really good at logistics. It, you have to get the right people in the right positions. So when you become a manager, you need to evaluate the competencies of your staff. And then you can orchestrate, kind of like the conductor, until you know this person why don't we move you over there and this person over there and now both of you can m contribute 110 percent to the the supply chain program at your your company but we also have to look at that customer focus we can never lose sight of the customer it needs to be more than just a statement that your company has. It needs to be a belief in what you're doing because your customer is going to qualify the potential suppliers and then they're going to choose an order winner and then everybody else is the loser. There is no second place when it comes to supply chain when you're trying to gain customers. If your supply chain is not up to speed or not is where it should be you need to make that modifications to get it up there because you'll win more orders so like i said order qualifiers you know it's a great we need great quality and competitive cost that gets us in the game when you look for certain products you might look at several retail establishments and see that the same product is there but what what makes you buy the product from one place or another, if it's the same exact product. It might be cost, it might be delivery time, it might be you can go there and pick it up in person. Only you can decide that, and that's what the customers are trying to figure out. You need to make it easy to get qualified, to get their dollars, get their order from them. Be the order winner. You need to, just, you need to have that distinctiveness to win because of the capabilities your company has you know amazon has grown so much from its starting where most people will think of amazon first when they're looking for products because if they have a prime account they can get it in two days well they can get it in two days at amazon and it might be a better price but you might be able to get it at best buy for example today but pay a little bit more so we have to make sure that our company is distinctive and wins based on the criteria of the customer. And then any of those, any of those dimensions that the customer has, they're not, gonna, they're not even going to consider us anymore for that, that purchase. So we're going to lose the order. And unfortunately, like I mentioned in the previous slide, there is no second place. You're either the winner or you're not. But how, we need to also integrate design and control. So companies like Toyota are always tweaking and improving design because they're trying to control their value added networks and processes. They're always looking. It's a never ending thing for Toyota. There's always something that can be improved to make things add value to the customer, make things more efficient, reduce waste, Eliminate waste. So they look. They use a long-term and holistic approach to decision-making. 
you should do the same thing too. Proactively scan and spot inflection points early. Can you spot problems before they become problems or potential problems? If you can, you can adapt more quickly to those problems. And also, when you're proactively scanning, you can adapt to rivals or competitors in the market when the market changes. You can do all these things if you're proactively scanning or actively scanning your environment. Read the news. Keep up on things. We need to integrate processes and projects because we create value both for our company and our customer through process management and project management. Now, if you remember, process is something that we do over and over and over again, where a project is something we do once and that's it. So keep in mind those two differences there. We need to also integrate people and technology. So there's two critical skills. And as you advance in business, you're going to learn these and you'll do these on your own. We need to manage our competencies and we need to orchestrate our people. So we need to remember that we need to do what we do best and consider outsourcing everything else. So do what you do best, consider outsourcing the rest. Select the right team members, assign the right roles and responsibilities, and cultivate the right relationships. I'm sure you've probably worked somewhere where somebody just was not a good fit for what they were doing. Everybody has seen these people. But if management saw that and figured out what that person was good at and put them in that kind of job, they might have been the best employee that company has ever seen. But a lot of companies are stuck. You were hired to do this. So we are only considering you to do this. Well, it might be better that that person should be working at doing that because that is going to make them personally happy and that's going to make them do their job better and that will make the company more money. You know, all these different things you need to consider. So when you get into management and you have this a say in this so this sort of stuff think about these things so we need to think about all this because just by doing these things that i've mentioned in the last few slides are game changers if we can implement them pro properly it's going to change the way the game is played but let's go ahead and talk about more about game changers in our next video so let's go ahead and move on to that one